Welcome back to an episode of We Look at the Night Sky, and it looks absolutely beautiful. And that's also Huji, which has another mission for us. So let's talk to her. And then we're also going to finish all of the other side missions that I uh, got in the previous one. So um, let's do this. Huh, so you have found me. It was bound to happen sometimes. I no longer have my bells. If you have come to hear them ring, uh, bells what? Ah, so you haven't heard of me. You must be new around here, new to Eternum. Back in the day before our grandparents were born, I used to patrol the bridges of Cutlass Keys and ring bells to warn uh, of any troubles. Used to. Now you stop. I'm too old now to ring the bells, but I still worry about the bridges. Uh, does anyone actually get old in Eternum? I don't know. An old habits say hard. Since you're here, would you check on the old Ford Bridge for me? It's not far, and probably it's been overrun by alligators. Probably. Yeah, now I have to go back again. Uh, one who told the bells. Usually it's for whom the bells toll, uh, or something. They have to put this kind of name in almost every game. Uh, it's usually used for a like, quest mission or something like that. Alright, wait a minute. Uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Wait a minute. Let's just use his uh, camp there. Bam. <laughs> uh... Oh, wait a minute. He's a PvP guy, isn't he? Yeah, but as long as I'm not in a settlement, I can't get PvP or, uh, accidentally. Wait, how many alligators defeat streak alligators twice? Oh, wait. Ow! Okay. My evade uh, game is really off today. Ooh, ha. Okay, one or two more hits, and I got it. Like the sound of the musket kind of sounds like the meteor is falling down. All right, where's the other one? On the other side. Hey, got it. So you just have to defeat them. And that's it. No looting, no getting pelts, no anything. Perfect. So then, back to Huji. <laughs> Maybe I could have even defeated the alligators right next to her, without even getting closer to the uh, to the bridge at all. Yeah, that whip doesn't work all the time. Alrighty, nice. Good load, good load, good load. Sweetie. Am I at uh, uh, 800 and something? Alright, so, what did you find? Was there any need to bring out the bells? Not really. Has the bridge fallen into a disrepair or worse? Become so infested with alligators that no one could use it? Just some alligators nearby though. Hmm, only a few, and you took care of them? Huh, too. I honestly hadn't expected it to be in such good shape. I'm glad you've made the old Ford Bridge safe for travels. It does me old hard good. Perfect. Is there... More by tolling bells? I think so. Yes, you've got a youthful spring in your step and seem to have energy to spare, not like me. I'd appreciate it if you could check on one more bridge for me. It's been a while and I'd like to know how it is holding up. You know, what bridge? The flat... F oh, it's from Flatfish Fishery over to the fort. We called it the Flatfish Bridge back when the fishery ran a bustling business. I've heard the fishery has been overrun by a lost, which isn't a good sign for the bridge. Now, what do you need me to do? They need you to check on the bridge and make sure it can still be traveled. That the bridge is in good shape and that, that it isn't broken down or overrun by alligators or scavengers. Okay. 
Same thing in this case. Oh, but this one is up here. Hmm. That's a wee bit too far off, actually. But yeah. Let's just uh, continue with uh, this mission. Uh, how would I actually go back to this settlement? Like, there's this teleporter and that teleporter, but there's no other teleporter in the southwestern part here that would make it easier for you to actually get back to the settlement. Oh, wait, wait. Like, it's us just defeat sweet alligators, but they basically everywhere. Oh, come on. Like the previous fight was absolutely perfect, not even... Didn't even get hit once. But this one, all of a sudden, this is an absolute mess. So, half-eaten scavengers, they are of course somewhere... Uh, actually, I think it's even slightly behind the bridge. Think about it. I could try to close some of those stones here. Hmm, so what's easiest to do? Well, closing the dome, you don't have to fight anything, really. The tentacles pretty easy when it comes to the waves. These take time, if you think about it. And then there's of course the no wait a minute. The thing in the center is always the portal, right? Uh, are there any versions of it? That's uh, infested grove. There's corrupted monolith, festering hive, and infested grove again. So the grove is always the tentacle. The zealots have unearthed an ancient monolith, um, powering it to spread corrupted fruit. Have I ever tried to fight near Monolith? I don't think so. I have to check that one out. Also make myself another camp and probably not die. <laughs> that would be a good idea. But not dying by... Alrighty. Why can't the corruption just... Yeah, why why can't it just override any enemies nearby? That would be so sweet. Similar to how trees are getting overridden, right? And uh, plants and everything. Like, it just flattens everything. Uh, it puts the infested ground at the bottom. And... Uh, yeah, there's a huge space there. But when it comes to monsters... They don't care. That's a bit iffy. <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's just open that thingy and get on top of that. Oh, look at that. Half-eaten scavenger. One and uh, two. Actually, let's get three of them. Why not? Oh, no, wait a minute. There are only two in here. Okay, I'm actually doing decent damage. So, travel across the flatfish bridge and remove any threats. Well... It says remove any threats. It's all about uh, moving, not about removing. Ooh, nice! Oh, come on! Perfect. Let's get ourselves some more height. So, she said, like, one more bridge, right? There's one bridge here, there's one bridge here. There's another bridge down here. I think uh, I have to check that one out afterwards. Hmm, what could we do? Uh, then I would just go to number two, do number three and so on. Go down there and do this one. Or I can go the other way around. And then go towards the center of that place. That might be a good idea. Oh, okay, you cannot outrun an alligator for some reason. Like, look at that. When you see the snout, you have to do a little bit of a dash there. Uh, there no, no, no. Some of the dash didn't work. Okay, the dash is not working whatsoever. Let's just run. Let's just run and get out of its range. How far is it? 200 something meters. Okay. Still a little bit longer than expected. I still hear some of these balls. There we go. No, wait a minute. That's just a hawk. That one doesn't count. Let's just leave it there for someone else to pick. So, where's our bridge lady? Who G the troll person?
There we go. Oh, wait, another? Nah, uh, it's just another hawk. Okay. Let's not care that much about these. And up we go. So, uh, how was Flatfish Bridge? Decent. As bad as I had feared. Huh. Has it disintegrated from disuse, leaving nothing but pylons as reminders of <gasps> where it once stood? Hmm. There were scavengers and alligators, but the bridge was still standing. Hmm. That's something. It was good of you to go there and clear them off, though I am sure more will come back. They always do. It was never ending job. Patrolling the bridges. Hmm. Sure. Hey, got myself my eyes off. Perfect. Uh, there are other bridges. I spent time patrolling in Cutlass Keys. <laughs> bridges located in places far more dangerous than the salt marshes. I don't like to think about those bridges anymore. Hmm. Where did you patrol? Over by uh, Cayo de la Muerte, the cursed island. More than one fool has lost their way in themselves over there. I would know I was one of them, and it has brought nothing but regrets. The Salt Shore Bridge it goes from Rubble Shores uh, south to that loathsome pirate stronghold. I'm sure these thieves, pirates, have decided to take the bridge for themselves. They always wanted to. Alright, and where is that bridge? Oh, it's this bridge. That is a bit too far now, so I'm going to go towards one, uh, finish those century thingies, and then I'm going to go to towards uh, the thing a little bit further away. The problem that I have is always going back to the quest giver, really. <laughs> uh, you can, well, yeah, if you know what order to do the missions in, you can finish multiples of them. In one area without going back and forth all the time. It's one of the nicer ways of doing things. Okay, so how far is that? That's 200. Which one is closest? Closest is one, yeah. And from one, we're gonna go to two. And then to three. And then to. Wait a minute, where's the hemp plant? There is. That is not a hemp plant. We're not gonna cut it down anyway. There we go. That's it. Oh, there's even more. And even more. There's another patch here. So nice. Ah, oh, there's even more. You gotta be kidding me. So many patches of hemp close by. You have to be extremely careful not to accidentally hit the trees here. And another one. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, these are all bushes. They don't count. <laughs> Someone else cut it down by accident, I think. Uh, tried to do the same thing as me. Just getting the hemp. Like trees you can get everywhere, right? Hemp plants, on the other hand, not so much. Turns out they're really difficult to find. Now, how many more boars do I need? Like, it, I think it's a 10 or so. In the quest description. Alright, now this is another camp. Go to one. Hmm. Now also, a few more missions to finish down there. Pretty neat. Wait. That one has nothing to do with it, so let's leave it be. Only focus on ore. Oh, there we go. Is there a third one? Did it? Nah, it hasn't noticed me yet. Uh oh. That's not good. There we go. Nice. I've done 38. Sweet. We're getting somewhere. Alrighty. 
few presents, few corrupted. What is it that I need to do in here? Stolen plants. Defeat lush hand skinners. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. Spend some points in here. Uh, that's not it. Attributes are here. And focus. Oh, there's that. So, I'm looking for lush hand skinners. Where are you? You are a lush hand skinner. And you are probably a lush hand skinner. And there might be a, a few more lush hand skinners. There we go. There's another one. I need six in total. But there are not any more, right? Which is weird. But okay. Alrighty, now, four building supplies. They don't drop from all of them, which is a bit weird. But are there at least some supply crates in these camps? Seems a wee bit empty right now. Ah, there's one. And this one could be another one. It's blinking. Yep, has to be. Ah, there's another skin. Perfect. Ooh. A double strike all the time. So there was also another enemy in this way. There we go. Alrighty. Four out of six. Let's get ourselves some life modes. I see one there, one there. And then there are, of course, some uh, other things to do in here. Like, what's that one? It's still stolen plants. Uh, Bellows of Rusty Spoon Camp. And Syndicate Satchel. Hmm. And a decent amount of... Okay, that one looks weird. The, the, the pink parts at the top aren't as large anymore. Much smaller. Somehow. Strange. But they were not cultivated here, weren't they? Alright, so that skin is number one. That one had a bow. I don't like bows. At least not on enemies. There we go. Could there be another one somewhere back there? There's a dude. Okay, no, that's just a dude with a bow and arrow. We don't like bow and arrow, guys. And let's place that back. Alright, so and we got all the items. Collect the uh, three fort building plans and Fort Ramos. Oh, okay. So it goes on from one of those camps to the next. Fort Ramos is over there. Uh, that's just great. Uh, it's absolutely great. Do we at least have some supplies that I can obtain? Anything? Doesn't really look like it. Nope. But that house definitely has something in it, right? Right. Not so much. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Let's get the farm mode thing. So, there was something in the uh, east section somewhere up there, I think. Hmm. Need to get that camp going. Or maybe, yeah, let's just do the stolen plants thing in one swoosh. It's not that far apart. I don't want to keep it simple-ish. So, I got the herbs, yes. Okay, that must be this other camel, right? What is it that I have to do in here? It's not the butchers, it's also no, nothing that they are dropping. Uh, it's definitely something in this camp. 
Maybe I have to open some of those chests. That could be it. So, let's open this one. And this one. Or maybe a somewhat stronger enemy I have to fight. Who knows? I think that's all of them. Right. Okay. Come on, get a wee bit closer. There we go. Wait, how did this uh, additional perk thing actually work again? This one. Uh, on successful ability hits. Ah, gain a stack of void essence. It has ability hits. <sighs> I gain a stack of... Okay, is it an enemy that gets a stack of... Um, void stuff? Uh, void essence, or is it me who gets void essence? And also, if I use the blade, does that count as an ability hit? See that? Okay. So this is... And it's six. There triggers. And the AoE is around me. Now that is cool. Okay. So the blade itself also is considered to be a ability hit. Because it's an ability and we can hit with it. It's just that it overrides the auto attack. <laughs> That's what it does. So. Um, what else do I need to do in here? Syndicates up. Satchels. Yeah. From those chest thingies. <laughs> It's just not that easy to do, because there aren't that many chests around. There's like... Two of them. If anything. Look at that. There's nothing in here. There's also nothing around... Here. Or in here. Or there. Or there. Sometimes it is uh, on the uh, back parts of those kind. Hmm. Maybe it just takes a very long while to actually finish that one. Or it can be done in two areas at the same time. That would be pretty neat. Okay, this pointed dog had nothing to do with it as well. Perfect. Hmm. Okay, so those hits, uh, I think they do not count stuff like damage over time effects. It would have been really cool, but in this case it does not count, sadly. Alright. Uh, stolen plants. There were somewhere further east, of course. And there's another camp. Let's try to finish it this way. I'd hope that it works. Wait a minute. What's this brown stuff? It's iron. Two. Okay. Yeah, I got two hits at once. That's pretty neat. It's absolutely wild. But the AOE doesn't stay there for too long. And a one. And a two. Oh no, this other camp is a bit further away. Hmm. It's also right next to this tower. Strange, strange, strange. So, what do we have here? Uh, let's get the attention of this guy. And, uh... Ah, uh, that's pretty much it. So, this one does not trigger the passive. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. You see the the, 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 the... the stacks. They come in a little bit too late. Like, you hit them, it takes a while, and then you get the stack. It's not immediate, which is weird. So the hit uh, detection might also be a little bit laggy when it comes to that. Maybe you can even play around with that lagginess a bit. And... That is so sweet. That Void Essence is absolutely crucial. The damaging effect around you is just so good. So, now I think we have a decent... Oh, do we? Yeah, that's done. Uh, the syndicate has learned that there's a da -da 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 -da, rusty spoon camp. Go quickly and retrieve each syndicate satchel before anyone else is aware. Hmm. 
search the chests for these satchels. I've got a few of them, but I don't know how many I need. And also, this uh, camp is not just down there in the western part of it. It actually extends every direction. So, let's see what's in here. I have a slight suspicion that I was here before. Yep. Let's try that one. Ah, there's even more ham. Um, how nice is that? Enemies are coming. Slowly, but... Slowly. Uh. And... One. Two. It would be nice to get maybe 1.2 or 2 stacks of this thing. If you do a frost attack like that one. Wait a minute, why doesn't it count? See that? Or maybe there was a certain cooldown on it. Wait a minute, does it have a cooldown? Uh, two, oh, okay, cooldown is 20 seconds. That's not cool. Especially if you want to go from one enemy to the next. So. Okay, you're getting stacks. Uh, and the stacks have cooldown themselves. But then there is the actual effect that happens. Wait a minute, is this one done now? Yes, it is. Okay. Now we can go further east. Also, uh, let's just salvage everything we don't need and open all of the chests. I don't really care about those. So, that one could be sold. Ah, okay. And we got a bit more room. Nah. No. Can't kill more than one enemy with it. Uh, this is too many. Look at how long it took until the iron got actually displayed there. It was right in front of it when the thing got displayed on the compass. So, and this is the fort where I have to go again. It like, wasn't I in here before. Walking him up multiple times. So iffy. What are you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> uh. This is the usual behavior. All right, collect for building material. It's probably in those containers again. Come on, give me some material, please. There we go. Plants, not material. Reading helps sometimes. There's another pack down there. Alright. Like, look at that, why doesn't it work? You cannot... crouch for some reason. There we go, now you can do that. They have to move this thing a little bit to the side or so. I don't know. Can't use it the way you're supposed to. You always collide with it and then it stops again. And that's not cool. So, and then there's Antonia. Wait a minute, Antonia was over there. Oh, huh, interesting. Ah, no, this was the bridge thing. So, two is somewhere in the, uh, in the west. go to that location. Once we are there, we have a little bit of cover or something like that. Alrighty. 
Oh no, is Jack Morty all right? Seems to be a bit offline or something. He's sleeping. That's not good. Is he? Yeah, he seems to be sleeping. I don't know if you can actually resurrect him or not. Let's just get these creatures to you. No. Let's give him a heal buff or something, just in case. We have other things to do, but let's just be sure about that. Or maybe he has such a high amount of re, uh, yeah, resistance, physical resistance, that he can just lie there on the floor and nothing happens. That would be pretty neat. So, and number two, and another one, and we got ourselves the attention of the, oh no, enemies. Oh no, I can't even use the abilities. Oh, that's so iffy. So iffy, so iffy, so iffy. Can I be in my inventory uh, and get attacked at the same time? Can I do this management thing? That would be cool. Ah, more iron. Look at that. So, and I have a decent amount of leather. Let's just, let's just throw a hundred and something down on the floor. I'm more interested in the iron. want to get at least mining a hundred so I can get the next best mineral. So wait a minute, two's over there. Let's not get distracted too much. Oh wait, there's something else up here. Might be something fiery. There we go. Can't quite see it. There it is. Stupid ball. Wait a minute. Uh, let's get the attention of this other ball as well. Well, it would be somewhat beneficial to be inside burger circles. Because I don't need the bushes, I need the boys. Oh, loot, yes. Look at how much tracking I got. Just the simple fact that every second enemy has a skin on it statistically you get such a nice chance of finishing this it's unbelievable all right uh let's throw down like 200 gets more and more and more all right you have to go to position number two another ball how many of them do i need to take out There we go. Hey, 958 A's off. 159 A's off. Not enough A's off anymore. Like, what's going on? So, someone in that vicinity. That's okay. Oh, wait. Present is all around the corner. Let's get that one. Nah, I'm not that far away, am I? 400 <laughs> Not that far away, and 400 meters do not quite go well together. So, and even more... No, there's another hawk. That one doesn't count. They're also marked slightly differently. Like there's uh, there's hogs and then there's boars on your compass, the little icon. Like boars are a little larger and they have a little um, bulge on their backs. That's how you can identify them. Oh no, hidden alligators. Don't want to fight them yet. Also, I need to do some fishing, but in order to make that really work, I need to increase the speed at which I can fish. That would help a lot. 
Ah, bushes don't count. What, do we get something from bushes? Only green wood. So, ticking waterways. Yes, and there's also some corruption here. Oh, wait a minute. Um, can, oh, come on. How do I get out of here? There we go. Let's hold it down. Can't build it in water, obviously. Let's make a camp, just in case. <laughs> and I also want to try to fight this uh, corruption thing. Yeah, let, let's try that right now. Why not? So, it says it's... Br oh, of course they're alligators. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's um, get ourselves a... There are no safe spots. You got to be kidding me. Alright, wait a minute. Oh, nine, 700 damage. 700 again. Okay. This one is 400. Okay. So I can do more damage if I uh, attack the tip of it. I just have to like aim a bit more carefully with it. But it basically behaves like uh, attacking twice. And once it moves, there's... Whoa. Okay, I uh, also maybe shouldn't get too close to it. Uh, always be in like range mode. Getting a bit uh, too greedy here. Alright, let's just heal up a little bit. There we go. Uh, the swarmers seem to have a. Oh no, there's a ball. And there's another enemy around. That is just so annoying. It's it's just absolutely annoying. Like, you want to fight this thing. You can't do that because there are more enemies around. Oh, much, much faster. There we go. And you actually uh, intended to. Okay. Let's make sure they're dead first. And, of course, there's an alligator. Alligators. Don't like them, don't like them. Why do I have to fight them now? Why now? It's always the same. Like, the, the, the thing is almost defeated, right? And then there's something unexpected popping up. Uh, like this pesty alligator. You gotta be kidding, man. Hate those thingies so much. Okay. Let's just kill it uh, at the base because that's the easiest way to aim at. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, tail whips don't count. Ooh, okay. I'm just looking at the tentacle right now. If we evade, it's basically like muscle memory. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah, that's another. What, what did I just say about it? Always giving you more enemies than you can shoot. Oh no, 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 no. This is bullshit. Uh, absolutely bullshit. I want the silver to blinds, if anything. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, get in range, please get in range. There we go. Oh, come on. That always pushed me out of my healing circle. Just die, please. Just have a decent scene. There we go. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get to the center. Get a healing thing going and trigger the the f 
finish of it. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, figure it again. Just, 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 just force. Oh no, 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 no. I have to be really careful now. Let's put it on the ground. Come on! There we go. It always disappears. You can never really interact with it. Once someone shoves you away, like the whole thingy is just gone. That's not cool. I don't want that. I just want it to work. And I don't want to get shoved about. Like I'm, I have heavy armor. Like, why does this even happen? And this is the thing, right? It's not the corrupted that are a problem. Absolutely easy. What's the problem in here are all of the unforeseen enemies that spawn in an extremely quick fashion. Alright, equip load is heavy and I got myself a sword. Yes, which I can salvage again. Perfect. Alright. And I said that I wanted to get uh, closer to the area where I can finish the quest. So let's do that now. And now we can have the end of the little episode and finish with the ticking waterway in the next one. Until then. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe, of course. Ta-ta.